Welcome back to the Daily Move. You are part of the four-week mobility challenge that's going on. Today is day five. The four-week mobility challenge is four weeks where we have four new videos every day encouraging you to move in different ways and improve the way that you feel through different kinds of motion. Today, you're gonna need a few different things. Some pillows or blankets, both of them will work. A couch, you're gonna need some kind of step. You can use a staircase or just something to put underneath your toes. And two high chairs to push up into and a couch near a wall. So go ahead, press pause, grab what you need and we're gonna get started here soon. So we are gonna start with those pillows or blankets, your choice. The higher up, the more traction you're going to feel here. And you're going to lie yourself over top of that. And what we're trying to do here is help that anterior posterior, or sorry, anterior pelvic tilt that a lot of us have troubles with if we've been sitting for long periods of time. So what we're thinking here is we're kind of tucking the glutes underneath a little bit and relaxing over those pillows. Now you wanna hang out here for about three minutes. Now, if this isn't enough, you can also do it on the side of a couch like I'm showing here. And just letting gravity pull those knees down towards the ground. Now it's totally cool if you need to fidget here. Normally I need to fidget for the first 30 to 45 seconds to really feel that traction-y pull in that lower back. Feel free to bring your arms over top of your head, almost pulling into the couch if that feels better, or you can even cross your legs underneath you just to really help with that gravity pull. If you are gonna cross your legs over, make sure to be even on both sides. So choose one or the other over the pillow and the blankets or on top of the couch. I wouldn't recommend doing both. So a few more seconds in this pose. Next, you're gonna need that step, or you can go into a staircase. And what we're gonna do here is a heel drop. So you can see here, I've just got something underneath my toes, and as my heels drop, it's quite easy to get into that posterior tilt. Now, you can either move through an anterior posterior tilt like I'm showing here with my hands, or just tuck into that posterior tilt where your glutes are slightly squeezed and they're tucked underneath, and you can just hang out here. So your choice, your feet can just be up on something or what I'm showing you here in the stairwell and just allowing the heels to drop. Now you can hang out here anywhere from a minute to three minutes here. This is great for leveling out the hips if you have a hip hike and it's also and it's also great to help if you have a little bit of an anterior tilted pelvis. Now as you're standing here, really think about those heels dropping down towards the floor and kind of contracting your abs so that your glutes sink underneath.
So you have a few seconds left here, just letting those heels be heavy. Next, you're gonna lay on your back and we're gonna do a hip hike here. So my knees are straight and what I'm doing is I'm pulling my hip up towards my rib cage. You wanna perform between six to eight a side here. This is also going to help level out that pelvis in case you have one leg that's kind of jacked up on one side. Next, you're gonna need those two chairs. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna create some traction by pulling your upper body away from your lower body. Now, you can stay here or a more advanced um, option is actually pulling the hips up, creating that posterior tilt, and strengthening your abs here doing this motion. Now, I find these quite tiring, so I can do between six to eight, and then I need a good rest. So feel free to, to throw in two sets, but if you're losing good form, just take a break and come back to it tomorrow. So you can see here, I'm really tucking my pelvis under in order for my tailbone to start reaching towards the ceiling here. It's not only gonna help create traction, but create strength there in the abdominals to help where, with where that pelvis should sit naturally. So next, you can go back to your couch. I'm using a coffee table here with, with a pillow underneath my legs. But what I'm doing here is I'm actually doing that posterior tilt again. So I'm flattening my back, using my abs to do so, and then I'm relaxing. Be mindful here, the hip flexors like to take over. So try to relax those. And you're just pressing your back down into the ground, holding it for a few seconds and relaxing. You wanna repeat this anywhere from six to 10 times. So next what I'm doing here is I'm using my abs to lift up my butt towards the ceiling and then relaxing. So it's a reverse tuck, flattening your back just like what we were doing in that last drill. And now seeing if we can squeeze our abs hard enough to rotate that pelvis for the hips to start lifting off the ground slightly. You're gonna perform anywhere from six to 10 reps here. Nice flat back. And then here's your other option. If you've got a wall, putting your arms onto the wall and continuing to curl that lower part of your spine up towards the ceiling, making sure that you go nice and slow on the way down. Performing six to eight reps of either version. So next we're gonna go into a plow if this is accessible to you. So I'm just letting gravity pull my legs down towards my face here and just relaxing in this position. Now this position sometimes gets a little like throat grabby, meaning that sometimes it's hard to breathe. So just take your time here. You don't have to go as deep as I'm going. And some people can go even deeper. They can get their feet right down onto the ground. So whatever range is available here, as you're breathing here, what's nice about this is it puts that pelvis back into that posteriorly tilted position here.
So next we're going to do a version of a bridge. And what I'm doing here is first I'm tilting my hips to get that posterior tilt in that pelvis before I dig the heels into that coffee table and then lift up like a plank. So what we're looking for is a nice straight line from the shoulders all the way down to the hip. If you're finding that your belly button's going first, then sometimes that may mean that you still have that anterior tilt going on. So just shorten the range and just be mindful that you're tucking that pelvis first before lifting up. Performing six to eight repetitions here. So next we're going to do a crunch here, but what I'm doing here is I'm actually sticking my heels into the ground and then dragging them towards my glutes. That's going to help get the hip flexor out of the equation here as you're performing a crunch here. And as you're doing that crunch, you want to think about that posterior tilt again with the pelvis. And then I'm lifting my chest up towards the ceiling, holding for a few seconds before lowering down making sure to engage those heels to get those hamstrings fired up for you before you perform any rep. We're repeating this for six to 10 times. Okay, next we're gonna go into a plank. And in this plank position here, you're on your forearms, a wider leg stance, and you're tucking your pelvis under, squeezing your glutes the entire time. You're gonna hang out here for 45 seconds to one minute. So we've got a little circuit here that we're going to repeat twice. And what you're doing here is you're going into a lunge, um, but you're really leaning forward over top of that front leg. And as you stand up, you want to squeeze your glutes, creating that posterior tilt as you stand on up. You're going to perform six on one leg before switching sides. And you can do this with weights if you find this too easy. After doing six on each side, you're gonna find something that you can rest your foot up. So you want something pretty high, but you want it low enough that you still have range for you to still pick up that leg. As you pick up that leg, you're gonna squeeze those glutes. You're gonna no naturally notice it going into that posterior tilt a little bit. You wanna hold for a second or two before lowering down, repeating six lifts per leg. And it's okay to start with a lower step and work your way up. Just being mindful that that standing leg is nice and straight. 
and that your spine is staying straight and strong through this entire motion. Once you've done six on one leg, six on the other, we're gonna go through that circuit one more time, starting with those leaning lunges. So you wanna lean on front of that front leg, really squeeze the glutes as you stand on up, swinging that back leg through to standing. Performing six on one side and then six on the other. And then we're gonna go back to that standing one where we lift the leg off the couch. And when you're ready, switching back to lifting that leg up. Really squeezing that glute. Try not to just lean back to get the leg up. So now we're just doing some standing anterior posterior tilting of the pelvis just to see if we have a little bit more range than what we started with. Now you want to keep that posterior tilt and we're going to go into a deep squat here. You're going to want to hold on to something that you feel secure with, whether it's a door handle or the post of your bed. I just used a coffee table here. And you wanna go into a really deep squat here. So you can see that my hips are really tucked under there. And then I'm leaning my body weight back. This is gonna be our last posture for the day. And you're gonna hang out here for a full minute. Now you can also take that strap that you had earlier and put some stuff underneath your toes. You'll notice you'll go into a deeper squat there. And same thing, you wanna lean back. With that you're gonna wrap up day number five congratulations i hope that you're enjoying the videos please give it a like and subscribe and feel free to share the videos with some friends that would like to move better too i'll see you tomorrow for day six have a lovely day everyone take care